everybody and welcome back to Jazzy61. So today's video is going to be one of my beauty videos, you guys. And I know it's been a while since I did one. Um, I want to say, when was the last time I did a beauty video? Yeah, it's been a while. And I ain't even going to lie to y'all, pretend like I remember. I want to say it was before the holidays, which is a really long time for me. Which why my head looks like this. Anywho, we're going to do one of my beauty videos today. And I hope you guys enjoy it. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Jazz. I do everything motherhood, lifestyle, a little bit of beauty every now and again. I pull it out sometimes. Sometimes we going to see. Today may be one of we going to see times. Yeah. And welcome back to my returning and new subscribers. Hi, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. So let's go ahead and get into what we're going to be maneuvering and if you hear some tiny noises in the background my baby is right there you guys he was sleeping i was like yeah and get some stuff done and he was like mm -mm, mm -mm. so if you hear some tapping or some cooing or anything it's probably him so yeah just want to throw it out there just in case so before we get started on this video i want to let you guys know if you are new here why i do these types of videos so i feel like you should be able to look good and not spend an arm leg and a hip bone to do so i don't like spending six seven hundred dollars on hair i don't i don't do that so i taught myself how to do my own hair in order to get the same look but on a budget so if you guys have seen any of my videos they typically cost less than fifty dollars and they last me about a month. And I'm trying to branch out as well. So that's why you're gonna see a wig today. I've only done a few wigs in the past, but this one might be a game changer if I can pull it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this style. And I kind of feel like if I can do it and I taught myself to do it, anybody can do it. Anybody can get these styles accomplished. So I'm gonna show you guys this hair. Again, it's a product that costs less than $30. I will leave a link to everything in the description box below if you are interested in it. So let me go ahead and show you guys what we work. Alrighty, you guys. So I am back to buying things from Amazon again, as I mentioned to you guys before when we moved into this house. Amazon, Amazon couldn't find my front door to save their life. I do not know why, but they could not find our front door. And every time we ordered something, it was like a Where's Waldo book. We're just running around trying to find where in the world our packages went. And then we don't wanna look like porch pirates picking our packages up off somebody else's doorstep and running back to our car with it. Let's just say it's been a struggle. So over the last few weeks, they have actually been finding our door again, you guys. And I know you're like, oh, give them some time. It has been 10 months. <laughs> it took them a full 10 months to figure out where our door is. So. This wig comes from Amazon, you guys. I have seen it a few times. Sometimes it works really well, and I guess this depends on how you do it. But the ones I saw work well are the ones that do their hair similar to the way I usually do my hair. I'm gonna put it up here somewhere on the screen too so you guys can see it um, on the mannequin and everything. But this is the Annie Soul wig. It is 16 inches, and it's a kinky curly wig. Um, the packaging says Queen's Choice. I'm trying to get it to where you guys don't see the light there. And then on the back, it has wig cam and with cleaning instructions and directions this week is $28 on Amazon you guys now if this thing turns out the way I hope it turns out I'm about to order all colors okay because this will be a game changer for me because it's been increasingly difficult with a new baby to do my hair <laughs> so I ordered this wig. it took a, a day and a half to get here and I got it in a black to a light brown so what I'm gonna do is take it out of this package and show you guys what everything looks like all right guys wig cap activated and it does not matter how your braids look it doesn't matter if they're old or fuzzy because the way this wig is set up you one won't see the wig cap it's gonna be completely covered and because it has a bang right here you, you, you won't see your edges or anything either. So let's go ahead and get into, I dropped it. Let's go ahead and get into what's actually in this little packaging here. So we got the wig here stuff because this is gonna be just like, it's a synthetic wig. And the hairstyles I normally do, I use synthetic hair. And I'll tell you guys how I maintain it over about a month's time. And then I take it out. So this isn't gonna be one of those wigs that you're gonna wanna glue down or anything like that. It's something that you can wear and then just take off. And you don't wanna wear it all the time, of course. There, like I said, the maintenance tips are on the back, so maybe that'll help some. But again, synthetic wig, so you have to treat it like synthetic hair. So here is the wig coming out of the packaging here. Okay, they give you some stuff, so let me empty box now. So here is a wig cap. 
which is pretty much the same color as one on my head. Cause like I said, it doesn't matter. You're not gonna see it. And then they gave me some stickers, literally stickers. <laughs> stickers. <laughs> Cause I can give them to someone, maybe my son or my niece. And then there's sound like there's something else in here. Oh, and it looks like some gold hoop earrings on the inside. Here's the lid. All right. So as, if you guys have seen the hairstyles I do normally, I will try to link some of them in the description box below as well. And also some of them in the cards so you guys can see. But normally I do like a fro. I love afros. They're like my favorite things in the world. So this is supposed to be similar to an afro wig. Um, see how that goes. But this is what it looks like fresh out the pack. Here is that front bayang. Um, of course, I'm gonna, you know, do some things to it. But uh, yeah, let's, let me tend to my youngling and I'll be back once I put this. I'm gonna put it on for you guys so you can see it as well as tell you about the kind of the construction of it too. Okay, I'm back. So I got a little man with his dad so I can focus. Oh, you don't stop dropping stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this on. So this video is gonna be a little different than what I normally do, you guys, only because I wanna show you step by step how I do it. So I'm gonna kinda talk through it as I'm doing it. I wanna just kinda really show you the whole process. I'm nervous. <laughs> I wanna show you guys the whole process though. So inside the cap we have one, two combs. They're more towards the front and then there's the band at the back, you know, the normal um, kind of bungee bands back here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and lock those into some spots just to kind of get them out of my way because I typically, I mess around and snag my hair with it and it just hurts. I won't do that today. I'm gonna just put it on first and then we're gonna worry about the combs after I put it on. Right. I don't know what that noise was guys, sorry. But, okay, it's giving a um, fix me. Okay, so. And then we're gonna start this process and try to figure out how we can make this thing look more the way I want it to look. What I'm gonna do is just run my hands through it the same way I do with my um, big kinky hair. I'm just gonna start running my hands through it and see if I can get some volume going, some more size, because you guys, like I said before, I like a big fluffy fro. I'm gonna pull this down some at the front too. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't do the combs up here maybe i should to help kind of keep it in place up here just a little bit ow okay that's where we're gonna leave it at right around there okay and so i'm gonna start fluffing just running my hair through it my hands through it i didn't put these combs in good because it's moving hold on get in there comb ew I told you guys I have I'm not good at this yet. I'm still <laughs> I'm still in the beginning phases of learning here. Okay. So fluffing, 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 fluffing. So I'm gonna just see how big I can get it before I start slicing on it. I have a feeling I'm gonna add some more to this bang up here too. Not, yeah, I think I'm gonna actually add some more up here to this bang area because I feel like it's not very big. Come on, volume. Come on, volume. Come through for your girl. Okay, volume. I'm gonna do it underneath as well, guys, because you wanna get as much volume as you can. I will say there's some shedding happening, but that's probably because I'm tugging on it so much already. But like I said, I want this to look like I normally wear my hair really big, really full, really flowy. Now as you guys can see, the more you run your hands through it, the bigger it starts to form, right? So. I don't know if this is the one that I ordered or not, I'll be honest with you guys. I feel like I ordered black to brown. This looks more brown to brown. Um, but we're gonna see how it looks anyway. And for $28, it's not so bad. And I can order the other one that I originally ordered to begin with. Okay. 
I said little shedding because of the fact that I'm tugging on it. Got a piece of hair on my lip. Mm, there it is. Okay. So we're getting a little bit of volume. That's what I'm on. Right off of there. Okay. Now, I know that I'm going to want more in the front of this thing because I'm seeing already. Ooh, come on, Lions, man. That's what your girl want. Um, I'm seeing that this bang is really kind of like meh, right? It's very minimal in the bang area. So what I'm going to do is pull some hair from around this region forward to make it a part of the bang as well. So let me lean over and look and do that. Just going to take a few pieces from this region up here and over here, get up here and I'm gonna make you a part of the bang. Now, the hair is curly, so you don't wanna cut too much because if you cut too much, then you know you can't really replace on this wig. So, I just kinda of cut low and then see where it lands. Yeah, I'm gonna cut a little bit more um, in this area. This part needs to go over here because you're not gonna be part of the bang. I'm gonna cut a little bit more off. I try not to do like too many blunt cuts because then it'll look more blunt than I want it to. Okay, so we're gonna make this thing work some way. Okay. All right. We fluffed, we got some bangage. And now we're going to go ahead and start trying to shape this to fit our face more. Okay guys, so I moved down a little bit so you can kind of see the full fluff without the light going through the back of the hair. And you can see how big the hair has gotten so far. So now we're gonna do some trimming because you want to kind of shape it to your face. I don't know guys if I can pull this one off. <laughs> but let's, uh, let's give her a go. Um, so I'm gonna start trimming off some of this on the sides, I think, because it's really looking kind of big and just kind of frazzled, and I don't want that look. So let's just start trimming. Yes, a little bits at a time, because like I said before, you don't wanna cut too much, because with the wig, you can't put it back. So I'm going in and taking out smaller bits. Right here is probably somewhere you wanna remove some because you want it to kind of round. And if you don't, it'll just look really huge. So this one's rounding out nicely. Take a little off of this. So my cutting process, a lot of people kind of cut downward. I do that more like around my face and around when I do um, longer, uh, sometimes straighter hair, but not right now. So I'm gonna do a little in here. Just getting pieces off, off, <laughs> off. Cause we still wanted to have a bit of the curls in there too. Cause the curl is a part of what makes the hair so pretty. I think I need to trim a little bit in here. Cause I feel like that may make this bang look a little more realistic. Cause right now it's looking a little, it's giving fake. All right. so. So I'm stepping out to the side to see this mirror back here, guys. This piece is still fighting your girl. Okay. So I'm gonna do the same thing pretty much on this other side too to shape it better. Cause that shape is okay right there. I did want some more volume up here, but as I said, I think this is a different color than the one I ordered. Um, Cause I ordered black to brown. And like I said, this looks more like a brown to brown. So let's see if I can get this other side a little bit better shape too. I just wanted to look a little bit better around my face. It's supposed to kind of shape, like contour to my face better. So I'm just gonna doctor on it as much as we can over here. I said you gotta take some off and down here as well. I'm gonna wanna take some out of here because 
this part should not be as long because it's inside closer to my face. side closer to the side of your face go in and go down with some too because then you'll have like these really straight bits and you kind of want it to be more of a rounded type of a situation it's rounding out to be pretty nice actually um it doesn't feel the same as the hair that i normally use um because the hair i normally lose is normally lose use is a little bit heavier and this hair isn't as heavy it's much lighter for sure so i think i'm kind of liking this side more than this side because i think in here i need to take some out to make it look a little bit not wild but more curly afro right so i'm gonna go in a little bit over here and it may just be because i you know was fluffing too much and so sometimes you end up with that so I'm gonna go back here a little bit too and you guys know that I like to start the process and then I'll stop and come back with fresh eyes and that's important to me because I do not like um, cutting too much of the hair off but as you can see, this side looks a little shorter in this area and this side is much longer. So I'm gonna go in and try to make it look more like this, which is also kind of back a little bit, I think. But I like the look of this more than that. So I'm gonna go back with it just a little bit and then trim some more out of here. Cause I think, I think it needs to be I don't want to say wild, but more wild looking, more like an afro looks, more like my normal afros look, I guess is what I'm trying to get it. But I'm trying not to cut too much because again, I can't put it back. So this needs to be trimmed down. Okay, I think that's a bit better. I do think I'm gonna trim a little bit more though. I just don't wanna take out too much and then it'd be like a gap somewhere in this region. So maybe a little bit more in here to make it look a little bit more. Okay. So this is where we are for now, guys. And I'm thinking I'm actually liking this. So I will probably be ordering <laughs> many colors. But this is where we are. I do like it. I do. Ooh. <laughs> well, not technically fancy because it was $28. But, you know, for a budget, nice. So, the bangs are going to settle on their own, guys. Don't worry about that. Once they get kind of used to the position that they're in, they'll stay. But, <laughs> for $28, this one ain't bad. So, I'm trimming still because I can see, like, weird looking pieces when I go to the mirror but I don't see when I'm staring in the camera okay so I'm probably gonna do some something similar to the back of this hair because I want it to be just as fluffy you don't want to neglect the back you want the back to look just as full and pretty as the front so I'm gonna turn around and show you guys what the back looks like for now which I have run my fingers through it a couple times but I haven't paid as much attention as I have to the front so let's turn around and check out the back. Let me fix this. She's supposed to be down here now. All right, here's the back. Um, Cause I've seen people wear these and they don't touch the back. They get so focused on the front that the back kind of becomes like a afterthought. So this is where we are. I'll come back to you guys <laughs> to show you how I look with my makeup and everything done because I think this is gonna be really pretty. I think I'm actually, I'm gonna take some more from here because I feel like this side looks more rounded and this side looks more curly, doesn't it? 
we're gonna figure it out we're gonna figure it out because there's some fluff in there i think that's what it is it's more fluffed on this side than that side but i'm gonna show you guys what i cut out so far because it's not a whole bunch but i want to show you to you anyway but this is how much i've taken i've taken off and that's with me pulling and everything um but yeah i do think i want to do something more wild looking on this side we're going to see how it comes out tomorrow or when i do my makeup maybe that we're going to see we're going to see but this is where we are for now guys i will see you later Alright you guys, so this is the final look with this hair. I do love it. Um, if you are interested, like I said before, I will leave the link in the description box below you guys. This wig again is a 16 inch, it's supposed to be black to brown, but it looks like a brown to brown to me. But it's perfectly fine because I actually really like how this turned out. And it's 16 inches, $28 on Amazon you guys. They have a variety of colors, so you know I'm about to go buy up all of them because when I find something I think that's going to work, I like to make sure I can kind of keep it. And the hair that I've been using, they have discontinued it seems and I can't find it anywhere. And so this mimics that hair a lot and I am in love. <laughs> in love, okay? So yes, come on $28 weed. Okay, you guys, so I hope that you truly enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And if you're gonna probably purchase or try this wig out for yourself, thank you all again so much for watching this video. If you have not already joined the Jazz 61 family, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.